Vincent Prather, staff instructor here at Man of War Golf in Lexington, Kentucky. Today we're going to be talking about chipping and pitching. Uh, technique that I'm going to show you today, I actually learned from a friend of mine who's a former professional. He's now back to playing amateur golf and doing very, very well. Uh, I was always a really good chipper. Used a lot of hands, trapped the ball quite a bit. Uh, he taught me how to use the bounce, and I, it's one of these things that if you can master the technique I'm about to show you, you will see your short game elevate to a whole new level. Uh, there's three basic chips. There's a high, medium, and a low. The technique is the same on each and every shot. The only thing that's going to change is the ball position. For the high, and I'm just going to demonstrate this without a ball, we're going to have the ball, one, we're going to have a narrow stance. Our weight's always going to be a little left. We're going to have the ball more towards the forward of our lead foot here. So you'll notice there's not much shaft lean here, so there's a little bit more loft to the club. On the medium pitch, we're just going to move the ball back towards the middle. It's going to create a little shaft lean, take a little loft off of the club. It's going to be a more of a little of a medium pitch. And then for the low pitch, we're going to move it back to the back foot. The shaft is still going to remain to the inside of the left thigh, and this is going to create a little bit lower pitch shot. Okay. The trick to using this bounce is firm hands, soft arms. So what I mean by that, and I'm going to trace this really, really slow, I don't hinge and there's not a lot of release. This is more of a brushing motion. So if I set up my weights forward and my hands are really quiet, really slow, my arms, my shoulders, and my chest are all going to move together and they're all going to come back through and I'm going to finish relatively low on all my shots. There's not going to be a whole lot of extension through here with the arms. Uh, this is very valuable when you're coming out of the rough. You don't have to worry about double hitting anything when you use this technique. Uh, right here I'm going to demonstrate the high pitch. We're going to pitch back here to the blue flag. Uh, say for instance maybe I've got a bunker or something in front of me. I need to get the ball a little bit higher. I'm using a 54 degree Titleist uh, wedge today. So I'm going to move this up into the front. This is going to be the high pitch. Firm hands, soft arms, just a little rotation. And that's going to pitch that ball up relatively pretty high for that position of the club face. Now on the medium, we're going to move it back here. It's going to come out a little bit lower ball flight than the one we just saw. Again, firm hands, soft arms, shoulders all move together. So that ball came out a little bit lower flight. Then we're going to go with the low one. Back to the right, hands are forward, shoulders and arms. That ball come out really low. And you'll notice that they're all, I chipped them a little bit too far, uh, but they're all hitting and starting to check. When you master this technique, you just need to master the lengths of backstrokes in order to hit the proper shot. Uh, this will work really well on pitch shots also. Uh, I generally use, try to use this for about 40 yards and in. So let's say the tree back there is a target. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna have firm hands, soft arms. I'm gonna take a longer backstroke here. Pitched it right into the tree. Give this technique a shot. For more information, come see myself or one of the other staff instructors here at Man of War Golf for your next best lesson.